So when I was first called up, it was uh, by Sue Wilsey, and she said we have these windows, and they're from the original library building, and they, they're in the current building, and we're moving into a new building. And I looked at the photos she sent, and I thought to myself, they're sideways. They're in a vertical position. They should be in a horizontal position. So John and I uh, went to the previous Plum Library. There were four windows, and we removed all four of them. And I was, uh, later on, I went on a short tour with Sue and looked at the job site and just to get an understanding of how they might be lit, what they're going to look like, what do we need to do based on the lighting and the location. And I said to Sue, well, these two are gonna go into a wall between a passageway and a new auditorium space. That's beautiful, they'll be lit with ambient light and people will see them very clearly and it'll be great. But these other two over here, one of which is uh, a curved double house window, and the other of which is the Memorial Library window itself that has the writing on it. It's kind of the highlight of everything. They were destined to go into an area against a cinder block wall with backlighting and very little depth to allow for a, a backlight setup. And I asked her what the remaining uh, work was for enclosures and entrances and different window areas that were being constructed and she said that the east entrance was to have three openings and much larger than the existing windows and I said well we can do that we can fix that so the solution that I came up with was to have the memorial window itself go in the center and have the original vintage curved double house window flank it on one side and on the other side, we could create a replica of that curved double house so you have a balanced composition. And I developed a, a, a simple design that is um, era sensitive uh, and it works with the new building in that it's clean lines, very straightforward, kind of a, a timeless design. And the outer border of uh, beveled pieces with the curved, the, the convex um, diamonds and the squares and the glue chip glass, which has a very long history. And the glue chip glass in the original window shows up in these um, diamond shapes, these uh, concave diamonds. The, uh, the bevels we had replicated for the new window and the outer, uh, the inner original outer border was also uh, cut from new glass that was uh, made by the same factory that made this over 100 years ago. And then we have the, I pulled the glue chip out into this border and a different glass that is also a replica glass, but it's a, um, based on what we call uh, cyanite, which is an old um, kind of a granite looking, pebbly looking glass for the far outer border. And so these outer borders are the common theme among the three windows in the new opening. Our directive is to conserve, restore, and in some situations, you know, build new windows, design and build new windows. But being able to, to take the, the, the historic windows and bring them, having kept them in the, the space that is being vacated and putting them into the new space, it's a reminder of the past. It's a reminder of continuity. And we're all tied together. We are, we are nothing without history. And Seeing part of that, being able to conserve that and pull it into the, the future of the new space is very exciting.